Hi, my name is Melissa Duncan and I'm a senior here at Meredith College studying interior design. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about selected projects for my interior design portfolio. But before I begin, let me tell you a little bit about me. I was born and raised right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I have a previous degree from Meredith College in business administration with a concentration in management. I've worked in both residential real estate and residential construction. When I graduate, I would like to pursue a career in residential interior design. Here's a list of projects that I will be speaking about today. They are a mix of residential and commercial, as well as some construction drawings and mood boards. This first project is from my special projects in CAD class. This project, we were asked to design a room for three different occupants, a teenage girl, her father, and then his mother. For my portfolio, I chose to highlight my teenage girl's bedroom. The concept for my space is Sadie is a teenage girl living in Raleigh, North Carolina, who has aspirations of being a professional ballerina. She needs her space to be a place to live and to practice ballet. The space will be a reflection of her personal style, a mix of modern and traditional, and must incorporate her favorite color, which is purple. Along the top of the screen, you can see some of the furnishings and materials I chose to highlight in this project. In the bottom left-hand part of the screen, you can see a rendering that was done in SketchUp. For this design, I intentionally left the center of her room open so that she would have a space to practice ballet. This next project was for our interior design three class. It was a great project in which we were asked to design a two-story luxury stadium skybox for a recording company. We were given the square footage requirements to use for space planning. I designed the first floor of this space. It's the entertainment level and houses the viewing platform, a lounge area, some seating for dining, as well as the kitchen and the bar. The space must be ADA compliant and you can see several of the features called out here on the floor plan, such as, such as a reserved area for a wheelchair bound attendee to be able to view the concert or sporting event that's taking place as well as several five foot turnarounds denoted by the dashed circle. I was also asked to design the reflected ceiling plan in the switching plan. Our space had a tray ceiling, which we'll be able to see more of on the next page in the renderings. This last page for the project shows my renderings as well as selected fabrics and furniture that we chose to incorporate into our design. The image on the top left-hand side of your screen is the lounge seating area that was on the left-hand side of the floor plan. On the bottom right-hand side of your screen, you can see the bar seating area, as well as a small hallway that leads to the bathroom and storage closet. If you look at the top of the ceiling in the bar seating area, you can see our, coffered, our tray ceiling that I designed. This next project was for our special projects in CAD class. It's probably my favorite project that I've done over the course of my time here at Meredith. For this project, we were asked to design a corporate office for a company of our choosing. I love dogs and for my project, I chose Bark. For those who are not familiar with the company, Bark is the creator of the Bark Box, which is a monthly subscription-based service that sends toys and treats to your dog. At the top of the screen, you can see the first and second floor of my building. The first floor houses the lobby, the retail space, a co-working space for the employees, and an employee, um, employee break room. The second floor of the space is for upper management, including the president, vice president, marketing, human resources, and IT. Along the bottom of your screen, you can see a section view of the front of the building from the first floor. 
On the left-hand side is the retail space. In the center is the lobby. And on the left hand, right-hand side of your screen is the doggy daycare area. On this page, you can see my concept statement, selected inspirational images, the Bark logo, and then on the right-hand side, two of the renderings that I did for this project. On the top, you can see the retail area, and on the bottom, you can see the doggy daycare area. That room in particular was my favorite part of this project. This next project was a great project from my constructions technology class. In this project, we were asked to do a complete set of construction documents. For my part of the project, I was asked to do the demolition and partition plans, as well as the electrical data telephone plan, some detailed sections, and the title block. On this page, you can see a layout, the layout of all of our construction pages. This one is in particular is for the electrical data telephone plan. All of the work on this page was, was my own. On this page, you can see a close up view of the electrical data telephone plan, as well as the legend and the notes from the previous page. This final project was the mood board project from our special problems in CAD class. We were learning how to use InDesign to create mood boards. We were asked to design mood boards for three different rooms, a bedroom, a kitchen, and a living room. I really enjoyed this project because we were allowed to choose inspirational images, fabrics, furniture that were our own tastes and preferences. For the bedroom, I went with a red and blue color scheme of Asian inspired prints and furniture. For the kitchen, I went with more of a coastal feel. I really love a white kitchen, but to keep it from being boring, I like to incorporate pops of color. In this space, I chose an aqua and a coral. The final room, the living room, I went with an art deco and mid-century modern feeling in both the fabrics and the furnishings in an emerald and green color scheme. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to view my digital portfolio. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you would like to reach out to me with questions or comments, my contact information is in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Thank you so much.